And we're back, and we have bout number five of the evening. Do you know anything about these two gentlemen, Ikram? Uh, yes, we have v Vasily Veselika versus Fabricio Asvedos. Uh, Vasily fighting out of Team Romanov, situated in Romania, and we have Fabricio who trains out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Team Fabricio. He actually, he actually comes from a, a family gym that's run by his nice. father and him. A long, long time martial arts family. Uh, Well-rounded with his striking. He has a, a huge depth in karate. Out. Yeah, we have Vasily Basilica coming out to the cage right now. Fabricio has a huge background in Kyokushin karate. He has over 500 mat matches in karate, which is excellent. Um, Vasily here has good experience in amateur boxing in Romania and he has a lot of relevant experience in amateur K1 in Romania on the mats. So this is a, a good well-rounded uh, even fight with two guys who are in the early stages of their pro career. Big prospect and I, I, I had the pleasure to train with Fabricio, um, really good grappler, very dynamic. Um, the way he changes levels and stuff, uh, I, I I took him to different gyms and everybody was in awe of this this uh, this young man's skill. Um, yeah, it's fu it's 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 funny how um, his gym in terms of Shotokan Karate mirrors that of uh, the the Machida family, uh, who are in another region of Brazil where their roots are Shotokan Karate as well. Yeah, I think that comes from the. Japanese influence in Sao Paulo, where a lot of people in Sao Paulo who are martial artists actually train karate. If you speak to them, they always have a karate base, yeah. which is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, there, there, there's a there's a big Japanese population in Sao Paulo. Um, He's only a purple belt in Brazil. Yeah, so it's hard to believe. It's very hard to he's believe. He's definitely he is upon the level of a brown belt. May, may, maybe even more. Um, I, 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 w I was in stitches, but a lot of other people were laughing at this as well. And he was like, no problem, no problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just shows you that there are various skill levels or levels within belts and stuff. So it's a very subjective thing anyway. Yeah, oh yeah. at this day and age in BJJ, how popular the sport has become. I mean, there's levels of purple belts. There's levels of blue belts out there. Yeah, absolutely, you know? absolutely. There's Fabrizio there. With the Brazil flag making his way out into the cage for this UFL 3 middleweight professional MMA bout for he, sorry for the UFL title yeah it's the middleweight title as well and Fabrizio is in some shape he's, he's he always keeps him, himself in really good shape um, he's, he's just he's just a martial artist li lifelong martial artist who trains um, he looks after himself uh, keeps his diet clean mostly um, so yeah l l let's see what happens I, I, I believe Fabrizio's the more well-rounded fighter but he does need to uh, watch out for Vasily's hands because Vasily has quite an extensive Some striking tricky hands, background yes, yeah. yes absolutely and uh, Fabrizio again absolutely professional a pleasure dealing with the gentleman who came all the way from Sao Paulo he actually had an opponent pull out a week before his bout, Jermaine yeah. Fisher of Switzerland. Yeah, um, that would have been a great fight. That would have been a phenomenal bout. But we had Vasily, who was willing to jump in and save the bout. And we are second there. Well, Vasily has a bit of a, 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 a bare-knuckle boxing background as well. So this guy's a real tough guy. Oh, he's a tough man. Um, so we're about beginning here. Touch gloves. Fabrizio definitely has the size advantage straight away by looking at both men side by side. Oh, oh big, big overhand straight. Yeah, away. Vasily was going in there trying to uh, dictate uh, the, the, the fight in terms of range, but Fabrizio's not having any of that. Fabrizio just straight away, he's not wasting any time. Left straight into the double. Was that the double? Was it that? Was that, that a double? Was, that was a big double. That <laughs> yeah. was a big double. Um, Vasily needs to turn into Fabrizio rather than turning away. Needs to turn and keep those arms in. It's not really okay. He's up on his oh, knee. Oh no, back. no. Oh, he's standing up. Yeah, oh, he's trying to. Oh no, no, that just a complete no-no. 
Um, he is trying to fight it, but he needs to. He needs to protect his neck. Oh, he's got his neck. Oh, he's locked on. Mm, straight away. He's done. Too he's quick. done. He's done. He's done. He needs to tap. Interesting that he's standing up. He's standing up. Oh, protect oh, your neck. What? Oh, he's and going out. Yeah, yeah, it's done. It's done. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Pretty straightforward fight. Fabrizio just looked incredible. On the replay, there, the overhand. Oh, wow. Shooting forward, double leg takedown. Dynamic. Took him halfway across the cage. Yep. A one way ticket to the other side of the cage. Um, great performance, <laughs> really quick bout there. Vasily didn't even get an opportunity to showcase anything he has. Yeah, it's a shame because Vasily does have an extensive striking background, but it is mixed martial arts. And the new middleweight champion is Fabrizio. Beautiful belt being put around his waist by one of the owners of Ultimate Fight League, Hassan Gilani. Excellent stuff there. Hopefully get Fabricio out to defend his title soon. Yeah, absolutely. Again, it was a real shame that Jermaine Fisher could not make it to Scotland for this yeah. bout, but big props to Vasily for stepping in and saving the bout. Yeah. Um, Four days, I believe, before the bout. I, I don't think a lot of people will be queuing up to face for Vizio after this performance. I don't think so, but no. we'll see what we can do for our next show in November. Hopefully get him a meaningful challenger for the middleweight title. Or put him in the welterweight. Yeah, I think that's better suited to his frame as well. Yeah. He was only walking around at 82 kg. Who do you think in Scotland would be a great match for him? Someone um, like Kieran Malone, maybe a welterweight. Oh, that would be an amazing match. Um, I don't know whether or not Kieran's still fighting, so that's maybe a, a, a potential match for down the road. There's other welterweights and lightweights out there. It would be great to see Brazil versus Scotland. That's what we'd really want to do here at UFL 3. Uh, sorry, UFL. We really, really want to showcase Scottish talent versus talent from abroad. Yeah. In that way, we're really putting the best against the best. Yeah. And trying to really push Scottish talent ahead. Yeah. And, and, and to create an avenue for these uh, for these athletes to enter the big promotions. That's right. Yeah. So that was bout number five, and we will have bout number six for you very, very shortly.